सदिया कही सही है वो आप की जियारत आखे तरफ रही गए करनी है मुझको मौला बातें जो कही गए बातें जो अन कही गए मैं इसलिए हूँ जिंदा इसलिए शैतान रजीम बिस्मिल्लाम इन्ना लाही व इन्ना इले राज We the followers of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. We the followers of Amir al Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu was salam. We the Shia of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu was salam. All over the world are saddened by the terrorist attack that took place in Pakistan. We the followers of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. We the followers of Amir al Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu was salam. We condemn the terrorist attack that took place in Quetta in Pakistan. The Hazara community of Pakistan has been faced against these terrorist attacks for the past nine years, but now it is the time for all of the Shia all over the world, or shall I say, this is not just a Sunni and Shia issue. but this is an issue for humanity this is a issue that concerns all of the muslims because islam is a religion of peace and every single muslim who believes in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam the holy prophet of islam sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said that those that believe in allah azza wa jal they will always stand with those who are innocent the world has seen again that for 9 years the hazara community of pakistan has been under attack by terrorism by terrorists by killers by those that think they are muslims but they are going against the teachings of islam because no where in islam does it say that you can take the life of a innocent person we the followers of muhammad and ali muhammad alayhi salatu was salam we condemn these attacks and we stand with the hazara community we stand with the shia community of hazara and we are reminding the world that no matter where in the world a terrorist attack takes place we the followers of muhammad and ali muhammad alayhi salatu was salam we have always stood with the innocent and we will always stand with those people that are innocent that this issue is not a political issue this issue is neither a sunni or shia issue but this issue is a issue of humanity because the hazara community the people the mothers and daughters and sons and husbands have been murdered they have been killed they have been slaughtered openly in pakistan and the government of pakistan has still not taken any action we hear that the government of pakistan says that we know that these people are funded by other countries but they are even scared to mention the names of these countries if the government of pakistan knows that these people who are terrorists who are killers who are not even muslim they are funded by other countries then why is it that till this day these killers these murderers these terrorists are not caught this is a time for us to unite This is a time for us to come together. This is a time to raise our voices for the Hazara community and to let the world know that we stand against terrorism. We want to remind the people of Pakistan that stop Shia genocide. stop killing these innocent people we see that it has been 4 days 
the families of the shahada are sitting and waiting for justice they want justice and insha allah we the followers of muhammad and ali muhammad we will raise our voices until they get justice because we are the followers of imam hussein alayhi salatu wassalam and i would like to remind all those people that are saying today that we should not raise our voices as this issue only concerns the people of pakistan that this issue only concerns the people of hazara but be reminded oh people that when yazid stood against humanity when yazid came out with forces against the family of rasul allah did hussein ibn ali stay quiet no he did not hussein raised his voice reminded the people that we are the followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam we stand with the people of hazara we stand with the people of quetta we stand with the people of blochistan every shia who is being killed because he is a follower of muhammad and ali muhammad because he is a believer of the vilayat of ali ibn abi talib we stand with that person we stand with that community we stand with that society and until our last breath we will support them with the slogan labbaik ya hussein labbaik ya hussein Labbaik ya Hussein. I would like to request all the Shia community of the West, and not just the Shia community, but all those people that recite La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, and all those people that have a heart and believe that innocent lives should not be taken. I would like to give them this opportunity and to remind them that whenever people are standing against innocent people whenever innocent people are being killed and slaughtered and brutally murdered I would like to remind all of the Shia of the West and not just the Shia but all Muslims who believe in tawhid and risalat because we are all united under the banner of tawhid and risalat and all those people who have a heart and who stand against injustice i would like them to take this opportunity to contact their local mps and the local councillors and to give a petition and to remind them that we stand with justice and we are against all injustices we stand with peace love and harmony we are against terrorism raise your voices within your communities within your circles within your society so that these so called terrorists these killers these murderers they have no place to hide they have no place to go but to face the courts and to give justice to the people to give justice to the hazara community we today want justice for the hazara community we are raising our voices and we are telling the world to stop shia genocide no matter which country it is in whether it is in yemen whether it is in syria whether it is in iraq whether it is in places where people are saying they are protecting muslims but in return they are killing innocent muslims we today raise our voices and we are reminding the world that we will not go quietly our voices will not stop because we have been taught by muhammad and ali muhammad to stand with the innocent 
and to speak against any sort of terrorism. We find that for the past nine years, the Hazara community, the Balochistan community, the Shia of Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasalam, have been brutally killed and murdered. They have been martyred only because of their belief in Ali ibn Abi Talib. For nine years, mothers have been burying their sons, sisters have been burying their brothers, daughters have been burying their fathers. And we have seen that there are many families in the Hazara community that at this moment in time do not have a male in their family to bury the shohada. Why is it that the communities of the world are staying quiet on this genocide? Why is it that the government of Pakistan is not taking any action? Because on the day of judgment, there will be two types of people. One of those that stood with the innocent and one of those that stood with the terrorists. Today it is time for us to decide are we with the shohada or are we with the killers of the shohada? Raise your voices, come out of your houses and if you cannot due to COVID, then raise your voices on social media platforms. Use the hashtag Stop Shia Genocide. Stop Shia killings. Help the people of Hazara. Stand with the people of Hazara. And ask the world for justice. Ask the Pakistani government for justice as we will not stop until justice is served. This issue of Hazara, this is not a political issue, but this is an issue for humanity. This is time for us to unite. This is a time for us to come together. This is a time for us to come together under the banner of Tawheed. This is a time for us to come together under the banner of Risalat. This is a time for us to come together under the banner of the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Because we stand with all those people who are innocent and we stand against terrorism. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Imam. Labbaik ya Imam, Labbaik ya Imam, Labbaik ya Zahra, Labbaik ya Zahra, Labbaik ya Zahra. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.